Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is the 5-Minute Weekend Report. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Today we're going to take a look at the different options that we've seen for Starship's landing gear. Originally, on the SN version of Starship, the landing gear was going to be incorporated into the outer hull of the ship, sort of like this. Since then, we've seen different versions. Recently, a graphic artist came up with these concepts for landing gear to be incorporated into the inner portion of Starship. Thank you for the amazing artwork, Kimmy. This particular design of landing gear will extend and retract hydraulically. And according to Elon, they'll be self-leveling. Even with this design, I don't see them extending beyond the outer hull more than a few feet each. Even with that, we're still short quite a bit compared to the Falcon 9 landing gear. I'm also a little concerned on the ground compaction both on the moon and on Mars. It's not like they're going to be landing on a prepared surface. And if we take a look at the actual MK3 Starship, you can see these mounting areas. So this could be very close to accurate. My problem is the overall width of the landing gear compared to its height of Starship. If you look at the landing gear on Falcon 9, as you can see in this video, the overall width of the base of the landing gear compared to the height of the overall hull. Now take a look at Starship. The landing gear looks to only be the equivalent of the diameter or nine meters of the overall ship's height. Unless they're planning something I'm not seeing here. Even with the new design landing gear, I don't see them landing on the moon or on Mars. We've even seen problems with Falcon 9 landing gear in the past. And the last thing we need is something like this to happen on Mars. I just don't see it without some type of landing pad or prepared surface. All these different options, I don't know what we're going to end up with. Let me know if you think any of these different configurations will be able to land on the moon or Mars. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description. This has been your 5-Minute Weekend Report. This is Spaceman Dave. Have a great weekend and be safe. We'll see you again next week.